The Justice League is dead as they attempted to stop the Dark Crisis. Back on the main universe though, they're trying to figure out what's next. How does the DC Universe move on after the death of the greatest heroes? Flash is currently missing in the multiverse and the other speedsters are looking for him, while the Young Justice team has been thrown into an evil universe. Nightwing and John Kent are confused as to who should lead a new Justice League and what should actually happen. But after Deathstroke almost killed Nightwing, ending the Teen Titans, he was called away by Pariah and the Darkness, leaving Black Adam to arrive and tell everyone that they have failed. He knows exactly who should lead the new Justice League. This is Comic Storian. Welcome to where reality meets fiction, where your stories are read back to you in a dramatic fashion, where I get to pretend to be a voice actor. We take the time to make you a comic book expert by filling you in on the big moments happening within the world of comics. We do cut out the B plots, we limit our panel usage to prevent copyright problems, and we allow you to have something to read to yourself if you choose to and want to start a collection. I do recommend going to your local comic book store and starting your own collection, or you can use one of our sponsors, Shortboxed. Click the link down below where you can win a graded comic book yourself and discover the world of collectible comics. Now, with morale at an all-time low, both heroes and citizens are feeling the effects of what a world without the Justice League is like. Deathstroke's attack on Titan's Tower has left what heroes were able to fight broken with yet another defeat, and those with hope feeling guilty that they did not do enough. But those still fighting, those wanting to try and make a difference, have all been taken under Black Adam's wing. The sole survivor when the Justice League was attacked, he drills into their heads that the Dark Army out there managed to kill the Justice League, and that they could be next at any second. They must prepare themselves to do whatever it takes to defeat this enemy. And that starts by killing Count Vertigo. Many of the younger heroes think that killing him would be extreme. They're supposed to bring hope to the world, not more death. However, Damien tells them that that's the problem. The reason Deathstroke is winning all of his fights is because he knows that we won't kill him. Black Adam then says, We must put Vertigo's dead body in front of the Hall of Justice as a warning to Deathstroke and his ilk. But John Kent's eyes flare red as he tells them that they are not doing anything of the sort. Black Adam shouts at him, The Justice League is dead! You didn't see what I saw! I'm the only one left standing after Pariah's army attacked! This is what must be done! The argument begins to heat up, with Black Adam's grip on Vertigo's head tightening, and Yara Floor using her lasso to pull him off. Black Adam asks, Are you challenging me? She folds her arms, telling him that she doesn't even know him but she doesn't like him. Black Adam tenses up and then turns, leaving. You are all a waste of my time. Now with no one leading them, everyone begins to wonder what is next. But Yara tells John that she wants to help. She wants to join his Justice League. Damien scoffs. There is no Justice League. Black Adam is right. Pennyworth used to tell me things like, it's always darkest before the dawn. Well, I have a feeling that we have not yet reached the darkness, and when we do, we're not going to be ready. How can you be so... John asks him, but Damien stops him. Realistic? No, we need hope. That's what the Justice League does, Damien. It gives hope. Damien shouts at him. Maybe that's why they died. With that, the three of them stand on the steps of the Hall of Justice in silence, trying to hold back their emotions. And then a voice tells them that he is sorry for interrupting. But if there's no Justice League, how about a society? They'd love to help if they don't mind some old timers lending a hand. The members of the Justice Society fly down, Wildcat telling them, Watch who you call old. And meanwhile, over at Deathstroke's headquarters, Pariah whispers into his head telling him, You have a mission. You must create a crisis. Deathstroke stares at his computer telling him, Get out of my damn head! But at that moment, his doors open up as the members of the Secret Society throw someone in. Look what we found! The person that's thrown in is Ravager. She slowly gets up, having been beaten by the others, looking at her father. I thought you were already dead. Deathstroke tells her that Adeline, Wintergreen, and Joseph have gone into hiding. But Ravager snaps. I wouldn't even tell you if I knew where they were hiding. You're broken. But all of this is a new low even for you. Everything that I've seen, that we've seen, superheroes, supervillains, it's all a mistake, Ravager. The Justice League died, and it was a matter of time before one of the little punks tried to pick up the torch. But I will be there to cut them down when they do. But you, I want you here, with me. You will be my legacy. 
I'm going to be a part of something bigger. The darkness, it speaks to me. As Deathstroke inches closer, Ravager kicks him away asking, what the hell is wrong with you? Stay away from me. After hearing the crash of being kicked back, the secret society rushes in asking if everything is okay. And Deathstroke tells them, perfect timing. He stands up opening his mouth as black liquid is a vomited out. I think I might know how to start a crisis. However, the black liquid doesn't fall to the floor. It begins to lash out at everyone, infecting them as they all scream for it to stop. And Ravager is made to sit there and watch. Meanwhile, out in space, the Green Lanterns have all gathered in Sector 666, on the lead that Black Adam mentioned that Necron was a part of Pariah's Dark Army. Those suspicions were right, as they find a fully restored Black Lantern power battery waiting for them. Unsure what might be inside, Hal informs them that he'll go in, and Kyle and Joe tell him that he knows that they're going with him, right? Knowing that he can't win the argument, he tells Simon and Guy to watch the battery. And if they're not back in 24 hours, they are to destroy it. Guy tells him, you got it. And once they're ready, the three of them reach out to the Black Lantern battery and are suddenly sucked into a dark and twisted world. As they all hit the ground, Pariah says, I'd hoped that you'd come. The fearless like me. The great Hal Jordan would understand. Kyle begins to shout at Pariah, where is the Justice League? Gone. The heroes of Earth Zero are special. Each of them is a world unto themselves. I can use that to rebuild the multiverse. Soon a new crisis will pull me and my dark army to your world, where I can use the rest of the heroes there to restore what was lost. The great darkness would rather this all go away and return to nothing, but I can keep its power under my control. Hal asks him, are you sure it's not controlling you? Pariah screams, you dare suggest that I cannot master the darkness! Hal attacks with his Justice League constructs. Damn right I do! I've only known two people to wear that armor, and I wouldn't call them friends. Pariah is forced to defend himself from the attack, telling them that their world is broken, and from this darkness, there will be a better multiverse. Hal then tells the others to keep the pressure up and go past Pariah to his terminal to find several floating orbs, all with the symbols of each of the fallen Justice League members. He picks up one, feeling its power, and Pariah screams to not touch his worlds. Hal takes a closer look and says that these aren't worlds. The Great Darkness, it's not using the Justice League to restore the multiverse, it's turning them into weapons. Suddenly, Hal feels the power ripping through his body, breaking him down until there's nothing left. And as everything turns white, he blinks around asking, What is this? Where is my ring? At that moment, a giant green construct sword slams down next to him, and an unknown green lantern tells him, That was a warning shot. Another lantern flies down telling him, You're not welcome in this world. This is Sector John Stewart. And Hal is shocked. Wait, Sector what? But back on Earth, Black Adam touches down knowing that the young heroes are not capable of being able to do what needs to be done. Which is why he will lead seeking the aid of a very particular person. He tells the figure that he thought that he could push the younger heroes. But they are too concerned with hope. And that is why he believes it is time for doom. The man steps forward. Right. Sounds like a job for Lex Luthor. And there you have it. A few questions are kind of getting answered, like Deathstroke was supposed to be dead, so how was he here? I think Pariah summoned him here, but we'll find out. And if you want to know how he died, I'll link that video down below. It's the Shadow War. But now we also know what's going on with the Justice League. The big question remains though, are they truly dead? Or are they just contained in these orbs, turning them into weapons as we have now discovered? And where did Hal Jordan go? Was he just absorbed into Jon Stewart's world? There's a few spin-off books called The Worlds Without the Justice League, in which we're gonna be discussing what worlds are going on in Superman and Aquaman and Flash. And we're gonna consolidate those into their own videos very soon. We're also gonna keep doing Dark Crisis videos every Thursday, as long as one has just recently come out. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and don't forget to join us over at patreon to keep this whole package going you get early access to our videos and you ensure that we never end up shutting down thank you guys and i'll see you next time right here